In the German capital Berlin today, President Cyril Ramaphosa will co-chair the summit with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. The session is attended by 12 heads of state from the African continent. Now we've got Mbali Tetani, she's there, let's uh, cross over and uh, find out what we can expect today and I can imagine it's a big moment for our president. Good morning to you Mbali. Good morning, Leanne. I'm coming to you from a very warm Germany this morning. We are, of course, in Berlin, and temperatures here have already warmed up. Uh, yesterday, uh, it was as cold as 7 degrees, so today it is around 11 degrees this morning, and it is fairly quite warm. But, of course, uh, we saw President Cyril Ramaphosa arriving here yesterday morning, and he's, of course, on this investment drive, trying to get uh, more investors to come and invest in South Africa. And, of course, for this G20 Africa Summit, he's trying to get more investors to come and invest their money into the rest of Africa. Yesterday, we saw uh, the President, President Ramaphosa, having talks, bilateral talks, with uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel yesterday. And, of course, we do already have very strong ties uh, with uh, Germany. And this morning, as Ramaphosa um, chairs another breakfast summit this morning at this specific G20 summit, we are expecting him and the rest of the other African heads of state who are here today to try and get businesses uh, to, from Germany to, of course, invest in uh, Africa and South Africa. We already saw this year uh, Germany uh, in, 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 rather in South Africa where uh, Mercedes-Benz already has invested about 10 billion rand into the East London plant in South Africa. And this is, of course, as uh, South Africa tries to, of course, uh, address the issues around unemployment, uh, the issues around inequality as well as poverty. We've, we have a very high unemployment rate in South Africa. We have an unemployment rate of about 26.7%. So as the president is here in Germany. He'll be trying to address some of those issues. We are also expecting the finance minister, Didon Boweni, to be making his way to the G20 Africa summit this morning. And he's, of course, expected, uh, as uh, with Ramaphosa, to try and lure more investors uh, to come in here today. But we are also expecting the president to address this summit uh, much later on today, before midday. And this is, of course, as he is going to be co-chairing this session with uh, the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, as well as uh, the AU chairperson, uh, the president of Rwanda, Paul Kagame. So it will be a very busy day for President Ramaphosa, as well as uh, the finance ministry uh, delegation who are already here today.